So this is what we're going to be making in FreeCAD. I'm going to show you a couple different ways of going about it. So here in the skills tested it shows sweeps and thin walls. So here's kind of the initial way that I did this is I basically you know did a sweep in FreeCAD it's called a pipe here but basically here's the kind of path and then here's the profile and what a sweep does is it if you imagine this profile being swept along normal to this path the whole way and then this is the result that you get so you can do that and then kind of fill everything else out add some fillets in and then what you do is you select your features and then you would mirror them and then again you would mirror them and obviously you could sketch uh, you know you could sketch this whole this whole section and then you only mirror it the one time and there's there's multiple ways of of going about it but you know here's one way that you could do it so so that's one way of going about it but I think uh, a better way is actually this is just in the normal version of FreeCAD here and and essentially what I did here is just kind of go from a take the front view and basically just sketch this shape here and then what I did is since this is 1 8 inch wall thickness typical we can just do a shell command and the CAD system will kind of do a lot of the work for us. In FreeCAD it's called a thickness. So I just went and selected these faces because basically I want to remove those faces. And then I can click on preview and that's what it gives you. It kind of chops those out and then what it leaves you with is essentially an offset from all of the other faces that were not selected. So all these other you know, gray faces here are essentially offset inwards because here I have make thickness inwards. You can shell both ways. But I have inwards selected, so I made the outside shape, and then I want that common thickness, that typical wall thickness, all offset inward. So that's another way of going about it, and I think this is a, actually an easier way for this part. So, and then you can obviously mirror it, and I'm gonna show you how to do this way. I will make a new document quickly. Let me move this over here. So, I'm gonna create a body. I'm gonna show my origin. You can use spacebar, show and hide. I'm gonna make a sketch go on the front plane. I'm going to type G and then C for circle. And I need to change to imperial decimal. So we know that one diameter is one inch. And then the outer is 0.875 times 2, which is just the same thing as 1.75. Now I can type GM for multi-line, or polyline, and you can see here this is vertical, and you can see the pop-up for what constraints it will add. So here I want a vertical, and also I want a constraint on that curve. Now I can add this and this to be tangent, now I need some dimensions, so I'll dimension this, this is 5 8 divided by 2, and then this one to this one is 7 8 So now this is fully constrained, but obviously I can't really extrude this right now, so I'm going to add in an extra line there. Now I'm going to type G and then T to do some trimming. So I basically just want to trim, click on everything that you don't 
want to be there anymore. So I don't want that. And it shows you kind of in the, the green highlight, the endpoints of what will be trimmed. So I can trim that, and I can trim that, and then lastly, that right there. So I did lose my constraint here, but that's pretty easy to add back. I can just click on the point in this axis, and I can type C for coincident. And then that is also up here. And I forgot to mention, but the polyline tool is up here. I changed my shortcut to M. Now I'm going to type my hotkey for fillet, and then I'll add a dimension for half an inch. So now, once again, we are fully constrained. I can close this. The sketch is already selected. I can type pad. This should be one inch. And then I want symmetric to plane. I will rotate my model around. I will create a fillet. What I'm going to do is hold control to select multiple of these edges. And then edge tools automatically pops up here. So I will click on fillet. I can type 0.5 enter. I will do the same thing with adding the shell feature. I will click these faces, rotate around, I'm holding control, choose thickness, and you can see you can make the thickness either way, but we built kind of the outside and now we want to we want to do the shell inwards. So this should be 1 8 0.125, enter. And something that's nice about this version of FreeCAD is I can just pick my last feature, click on mirror, and you can either do the body or the tool shapes. I'm gonna click on body and then I will select the YZ plane. Or you can click Select Reference, and I can go and pick the plane that I want. You can see it recognized that is just the base YZ plane. And I can OK that. I can select on my body, make sure that my correct material is selected. You can see the density here. I want units in pounds, and then here is my final answer. So I think that's the better way, the easier way of doing it. And then as I showed before, if we want to kind of follow what the skills tested says and do a sweep, you can do that. But I think that doing the shell is probably actually the better, faster way in, in this particular case. So I hope that's helpful and um, let me know if you have questions.